while throwing pots, all the background noise, all the internal chatter that we all have begins to quiet down and go away. There is no thought except for the pull and throw. So my main focus is throwing utilitarian pots, pots for everyday use on the wheel. I love things that look like they were manipulated. The arts have always been informed by technology. Today, materials are developed for industry. And as soon as that happens, the artists grab a hold of them. With the 3D printing, um, it's this very manufactured type of an object. There's this interesting disconnect between you know, throwing pots on the wheel and being so immersed in the material, and then creating something in a virtual world and having a machine make it. It has some really great applications, not only in the arts, but in sciences and things that we can collaborate on. And then as an artist, I start to think about the application these kind of advanced technologies can be used for and, and how could I parlay that to my students to be able to provide them with a unique opportunity that they may not get elsewhere. trying to merge that 3D printed object and the ceramics that I make. What I've been doing is making tools. I've made handles for paint brushes, gauges, compression tools that help me join seams together. So the first class was, you know, it was an exciting time. It was all trial and error. It's going to be a lot more interesting. We didn't know how the printers worked. Were they just these magic making machines where we could push print and walk away? What we've been doing with the students is trying to get them to think about ways they can be applied to their artwork. Where they can take a software application on a computer and really create things that we couldn't physically create with our hands. To be on the ground floor of this new technology, I think it's really beneficial to you know, myself. It's going to have an impact on aesthetics going to have an impact on how we buy things. To be there in the process of making the machines, uh, learning the software, before all those things kind of get standardized, um, really puts us at the ground floor of this technology. So being one of the first schools to really have a strong 3D printing program is just another one of those aspects that makes this a special place to be.